problem. The horses are real spooked. I think there's somebody inside. I bet I know who. Wait here. If I'm not back in five minutes, call the cops. Hey! Wentworth, come out. I know it's you. You're trespassing. You know, after what you pulled last night, I'd be more than happy to gut you like a fish. Come out, or I swear to God, I'm gonna take this pitchfork and shove it in your... Sorry, I couldn't call. My brother Cutter set me up on a phony murder charge. I can't get to you or my friend. Need you to know it's Stacy Marasco. She didn't drown, changed her face, looked like Gigi. How? Oh, wow, sis. Way not to hold back. I think I intercepted this thing. I'd be in a lot of trouble. You are in trouble. I kept my mouth shut last night. But if you don't tell me the whole truth now, I am going straight to Rex. Hey. Hey. I almost pitched for the naked couple just now. Hiding in the stables. I thought it was Cutter. I'm sorry about that. He never should have gotten through the front door. It was not your fault. Yes, it was. I was in charge of the party. I should have been more on top of it. Well, if the guy was wrapped in a mummy costume, I'm glad you could see him at all. At least all the craziness happened in the stable and didn't ruin the party for everyone else. Shane didn't seem too upset. That's the main thing. He was okay this morning? He didn't even mention the woman. But to think how close she came in, what if she had said, Shane, I'm your mom? How were they going to pull that off anyway? I mean, obviously you would see that she doesn't look like Gigi or sound like her. Still, for somebody to do that to Shane... I know. I was so furious with Cutter. I wanted to strangle him with those mummy rags. Well, if the guy's a total jerk, I get he doesn't care who he hurts. But what about that woman? What about her? Well, she has to have known how much Shane misses his mom. What, what, what kind of woman does that to a grieving kid? You tell me what's going on with Rex, or I'll ask him myself. You know. You said we went to that party to jog my memory. That I would see Rex and remember, that's all. Exactly. Bull, I heard what Aubrey said. Aubrey, Aubrey's my ex-girlfriend. She's jealous. Oh, she didn't sound like she missed you all that much. I should have known. OK, all right, you, settle down. No, settle. you weren't helping me. You just have some plan that you want to use me for. Well, you can forget it. Hear me out, OK? I've heard enough. Not from me. Now you're going to hear the truth, all of it. So Kimberly Andrews is still your favorite, huh? Nigel, I know how you feel about her. But she came here because she was in trouble and she needed, she needed help for her sick friend. But when I got that help, she just disappeared. Uh, I see. Without any money. It was very wise of you to offer the services of the hospital instead of cash. About all I could do. Indeed. Sir, I thought Rex Balsam looked into this matter for you already. He did, but uh, they gave him the runaround at that hospital in Kentucky. Because the stripper friend in question had already checked out of the hospital. Spit it out, Nigel. I know you're dying to. Sir, it seems obvious that Miss Kimberly's friend couldn't have been that sick in the first place. This was patently a ruse to try and extract money from you. And when Miss Kimberly discovered you were no longer welfare... She abandoned the ship, huh? It pains me to say it, sir, but I believe, as the young people say, she's just not that into you. Nigel, are you watching those reality shows again? You deserve someone whose affections are genuine and not dependent on outside factors. In my humble opinion, you should forget about Kimberly. 
Sad. You're fired. You want to know if there was something in it for me? Yeah, of course there was. All right, but it was going to help you too. What about Rex? Rex? Rex was probably going to help him most of all. Stacy, trust me. All right? You loved this guy so much. All you wanted to do was be around him and make him happy when you saw him at the party. When you saw Rex, now, did it spark anything? What was with... your plan, Cutter? Just tell me what you were going to do. I was going to let you finish what you started, OK? You wanted to replace Gigi. So I was going to help you with that. Oh, really? How? I thought that I'd help Gigi come home to Rex. You guys will live happily ever after for, yeah, for a price. Oh, and you just expected me to let you rip off Rex. Well, you know. I thought that I deserved a little something for my time and my effort and my silence. That's right, Stacy. That's the best part is I was going to keep your secret. Nobody would learn the truth from me. <laughs> so you were going to blackmail me. We'd both get what we wanted. You are such a user. Hey, I'm not a sleazy, disgusting user. So out of here. You're right. OK? Everything you just said is true. So you're admitting you're a lying con artist? Yeah, that's me. You don't want to do that. Why? Why not? Why shouldn't I go tell Rex right now? Because you're just like me. What? Maybe, maybe you're better because you did it for love. But that doesn't matter. We're exactly the same. I don't have to listen to this. Gigi, look what you did yourself. How many surgeries do you think this took? How, how, how many sutures, how many stitches, how many bruises, how much pain? I mean, how You put yourself through hell so you could look like Gigi. And your plan? Your plan was to take over her life. You and I both know what that means. I didn't do anything. No, you didn't, but you were going to. So I want you to think about that and then tell me how bad of a guy I am. I have to get away Where? from you. Well, I'm, I'm the only one in town who's going to take care of you. Yeah, that's because you want to use me. I have this right. Don't you see? Okay. Walk out the door. What are you gonna do? You have no money. You have no friends. I had a friend. You did. And she's long gone. Your best friend couldn't live with what you did. So, so what's your plan? Well, you can't use me to take Rex's money. So you're gonna go to Rex? Yes. You're gonna go to Rex. What, what do you expect to do? You're gonna show up on his doorstep? What are you gonna tell him? You're gonna tell him that you're Stacy? How do you think he's going to feel? You show up on his doorstep with Gigi's face. You want me to get rid of that? No, I'm going to return it. Rex, what? I'm going to find this woman and ask her what the hell she thinks she's doing. Don't. You know she'll be with Cutter. He won't let you anywhere near her without a fight. Fine by me. No, I don't have enough cash to bail you out of jail. OK, and, and who's going to take care of Shane if you're in lockup? I'm just going to talk to them. No, you're not. I know you're furious. I get that. But just forget about Cutter and his stupid schemes. Don't let them cost you two. What am I supposed to do? Move on. Forget about Cutter. Forget about the woman. They're just sick little cons. And now that you know what they're up to, they can't hurt you. <sighs> what? I just heard myself. I wonder how many times someone's thought that way about me, that I'm toxic waste. Uh, hang on. But I am. I was just as bad as Connor. No, you aren't. OK, let's hear it, Stacy. You go to Rex and you tell him what? What? Do you want to tell him that you're Stacy? I, I could explain. Explain what, exactly? You can't remember who you are. And what you do remember, it ain't pretty. He'll throw you out. Or he could probably find a way to throw you in jail. No, see, I'm not that person. OK. So you don't want to be Stacy anymore. No, I just, I just can't believe that that was me, that I did all those things. So take a chance on a new life. That's all I want. That's all you've ever wanted. You wanted to be the woman that Rex loved. You wanted to be Gigi, and now you can be, if we handle this right. How will any of this ever be right? You'll see. You'll see, all right? You'll be with Rex. You'll remember why you love him so much, and then you'll make it right. You'll be happy. So will he. Oh, so yeah, that's your biggest concern, right? Is our feelings. All right. Yes, I want my payday, OK? Honestly, I do. 
But you'll get to live your dream life. I gotta go take care of something. It's real important. You're leaving? I'll be back soon. Please, just listen to what I said and think about it. Okay? What if my answer's no? If your answer's no, then... I'm gonna think you're crazy for turning down the opportunity of a lifetime. But I'm not gonna make you stay here against your will. I'll collect the rest of my things as soon as possible. It's been my privilege and pleasure to serve the Buchanans. I will bet you a hundred dollars that suitcase is empty. Sir? Oh, for heaven's sake, what are you, new here, Nigel? You're not fired. You know better than that. I've always expected you to say what you think. I'm gratified, sir. You'll find my opinion of occasional use. I do. Is this one of those occasions? I know Kimberly Andrews very well, and I'm telling you, something's not right here. Shall I tell the investigator to continue looking for Miss Andrews? I'll let you know. Very well. It's your decision. But you may not like what you find. Nigel, is that suitcase empty? Keep your money, sir. So what do you say, Stacy? You'll stay here till I get back? Yeah. I, uh, have some stuff. I have to figure out. Cutter. Thanks for being straight with me. If we end up working together, that's what I'll expect from now on. Stick with me, kid. We'll both get everything we wanted. It's Rex Balsam. I know you're still in there. I saw Cutter leave alone. I heard him talking to you. Come on. I have questions for you. Open up. Dear Kimberly, my attorneys have advised me not to have any further contact with you. I wish you well, but I can't help. Please don't contact me again. Sincerely, Clint. No, oh, Wentworth, you got a future as a forger. I was just about to mail this. Can you take it for me? Sure. Thanks. Have a good one. Ah, oh, mail call. There's quite a bit today. Some legal documents marked urgent. And this? It's from Kimberly. Perhaps it will shed some light on the situation. You're a lucky girl to have a guy like that so in love with you. Okay, last chance. She crashed my party. I can crash hers. 